Hey guys, Brown here and welcome back to my F1 2019 crew mode here today for the Hungarian Grand Prix. If you missed the last episode in Germany, check that out before you see this one if you haven't seen it. It's a very rainy Grand Prix, I'll leave it at that if you haven't seen it. Um, if you like these kind of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe if, if you like this kind of content. But into qualifying for Hungary. Um, I'm going to be honest, I was struggling so much, I thought after Germany that I couldn't struggle anymore but I just found a totally new level here in Hungary, the first sector I was quick and then everything just went to part in the middle sector and um, to be honest it just, just fell apart and the third sector wasn't too bad, you can see here we're finishing our first run in queue one and we've gone P18. That's not good. That's a bit embarrassing now. Three qualifying sessions in a row have been terrible. This is the same run. Yes, I know the racing line's back on, but I was struggling so much and I just wanted to try and find where I was at and then try and reach that level without the racing line. But we crossed the line and we improved. Those out of Q1 then were. Grosjean, Magnussen, Kibitza, Ricardo and Perez into Q2 across the line with a P13 that's not a good lap and into the final run of Q3 we hit we go wide we hit the barrier and we're already pretty much in Belgium and now round the final corner we go wide again and hit the wall again and up to the line it's not going to be good enough and we're going to be starting this race P15 Those out of Q2 were George Russell, Hulkenberg, Leclerc, Stroll, out-qualified us. Oh my god, what is going on? But anyway, let's get into this Hungarian Grand Prix. The drama of 2015 is a recent example. Jensen Button's first win on a wet track in 2006. Or in 1997, Damon Hill's heartbreak in the Arrows after a late gearbox failure cost him what would have been the team's only ever victory. What a wonderful place this is to come racing today. Located 12 miles northeast of the Hungarian capital Budapest, the 14 corners of the Hungaro Ring are steeped in history and prestige. Overtaking has always been difficult on this technical 2.7 mile circuit, but the last few years in particular have turned up some exceptional races. Let's hope we're in for another one here today. A warm welcome to Anthony Davidson, who's beside me in the commentary box today. Let's talk about Brown. No grip penalties, no mitigating circumstances, just a poor qualifying performance and a very disappointing start position for them today. It's not a nice feeling, I promise you. They've got a quick car underneath them, but they've got onto the grid today and they need a pair of binoculars to see the start lights. They'll be desperate for a good start to make up for some of that deficit. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position. And it's Pierre Gasly in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Giovinazzi, Lucas Faber and Butler, Norris, Albon, Vettel and Valtteri Bottas, Russell, Holkenberg, Charles Leclerc and Stroll, Brown, Grosjean, Kevin Magnussen and Robert Kubica, Ricardo and Sergio Perez completes our grid. And with preparation almost complete let's head down to the track so it's going to be a one-stop race here strategy from the mediums onto the hards i'm just going to put a load of fuel in the car so that we can just continue to push all race long and so let's get into the five red lights then for this hungarian grand prix it's lights out and away we go it's for step of gasly at the start in the background everyone Getting away cleanly there, as oh dear, Gasly has been absolutely swamped at the start. He's lost out to Verstappen and now Hamilton. And we're going to go for the lunge down the inside. Grosjean's on our inside. Grosjean's still on our inside as we nearly hit the Toro Rosso. And Grosjean's actually re overtaken us there, heading down into turn two. We're going to go down the inside of Grosjean, get the job done again. It's Lando Norris up the road from us, and now Bottas is following us through and gets past. Grosjean as well, Verstappen leads by Hamilton, Gasly, Weber, wow what a start, he got Giovinazzi, Butler, Albon, Vettel, Norris, then it's us, and then with Bottas behind as we head through that long corner, and now 
we're going to lick the stamp and absolutely send it on Lando Norris down the inside and onto the outside the slight contact with his rear and our front and now we're going to try and go all the way around the outside that compromise is our line and Lando Norris stays ahead for now as we come through to the next kind of chicane part of the track and Valtteri Bottas catches us napping goes down our inside we're going to have to defend to the outside we go wide and, but that doesn't cost us too much you would have seen um, in the background Charles Leclerc having a look at Roman Grosjean he couldn't get the job done and on the next lap here comes Valtteri Bottas he's going to go round our outside no he's not because I haven't forgotten about Silverstone and he loses out there to Charles Leclerc does Bottas and now he's going to have to re-overtake the Ferrari before he even thinks about it on us. And once again, Grosjean's still there, doing well. And now here comes Charles Leclerc on us. This is the um, rivalry. And he gets past us, Charles Leclerc, there. And that was a pretty easy move for him. I put a wheel on the grass, you'd have seen. And that was pretty much it. I just didn't have the pace in this race. I had decent pace, but just not those of the top guys I know we are a top team but from the Ferraris I just had no pace whatsoever and here comes Charles Leclerc now on the back of Lando Norris this is a couple laps later and we're going to catch Charles Leclerc napping down the inside we're going to re-overtake the Ferrari there and we're going to get past him of course Charles Leclerc wraps up the rivalry against this last bout in Germany so we're still a little bit bitter from that and we're not giving up we've got Lando Norris ahead of us now once again, can we get the job done this time? We'll have to wait and see as we head through. But Charles Leclerc sticking to the back of us then like a print stick to a bit of paper. And here we come. We're going to try again down the inside on London Norris into the chicane. We go well over the curb on that second curb. But we do get the job done this time. And now we need to push while Leclerc is wasting his time getting past Lando Norris. Up ahead, this is Sebastian Vettel going wheel to wheel with Alexander Albon. This is Albon trying to get the move done. And he couldn't quite do it. This Vettel does defend and we're going to catch Albon napping. And we're going to go down the inside. Leclerc has got past Lando Norris somewhere. We're going to go to the outside of Albon get the job done on our former teammate. It's Vettel ahead. Leclerc fought about into the outside of Albon there. And now skipping on quite a lot of laps. We're in the lead of this race because all the two stoppers pitted. Of course, we're on the one stop, so we could actually pick up some very nice points here today. Here comes Charles Leclerc, he's caught the back of us again. To the inside he goes, gets the job done. This time, I'm going to fight him a bit harder all the way around the outside. And he's still there, we're just hanging back a little bit now, we're going to tuck in and we're going to go for the lunge down the inside. And there's contact with Charles Leclerc, we force him off the track and onto the grass. And with the two rivals, we've hit the boiling point between us two. Here it, here it is again, down the inside, I probably should have backed out of it. It is mostly my fault, but what is Leclerc doing? He's just sitting there on the grass, he's having a picnic or something. But, oh no, we've reached boiling point, I think. And look at what Charles has to do again. He's already got his teammate, which isn't too bad, but he has to re overtake Grosjean and then Lando Norris again. All why we are just absolutely now pushing like crazy on these tyres. As here he goes, then on Roman Grosjean. Grosjean locking up, but he couldn't quite get the job done down the inside. It is um, the Stappen behind him, then it is Pierre Gasly, that's not us. This is Gasly, he's made his first stop. And now here comes Charles Leclerc down the inside, pulls out to the inside, past Roman Grosjean, and so does his teammate there, Max Verstappen. And I'm pretty sure Pierre Gasly does as well, yes he does, and he's passed. Grosjean is, is on the outside of Grosjean, round the outside tries Pierre Gasly and he gets the job done, down the inside into turn 3, what a move there, Grosjean has been absolutely swamped and here comes Charles Leclerc, a couple of players down the inside of Nico Hülkenberg and passed and that is him back up to P2 I believe, and 
with us, we're just still out in front in, at this point. As here comes Pig Gasly now getting the move done on Nico Hulkenberg. Fairly easy move for him. Verstappen's got Hulkenberg somewhere around the lap as well. And past goes Pierre Gasly as into the pits we come then to make our one and only stop. Into the pits we come. Over the line we hit our point so we don't get a penalty. And into the pits this is on lap 18. Onto the hards. Quick stop out of the pits we come. In some clean clean air. There is Charles Leclerc in the background so we've beat him out. He actually stayed out for a few extra laps I believe. And it's cost him. But he, get, he does re overtake Lando Norris. And this is pretty much for position now. These, all these guys got to make their second stop. And me and Leclerc are just going to be going to the end. As we're going to have to get our own boys out and go for some moves. Here we come on Devon Butler. We're going to send it down the inside on Devon Butler. Get the job done. He can't really fight us there. The Mercedes ahead of us is of Antonio Giovinazzi and we're going to go down the inside on him what we tried to do with Charles Leclerc we pull it off that time because we didn't pull it off Leclerc we wiped him out of the Grand Prix and he was having a picnic on the grass as here comes Charles Leclerc coming through past Devin Butler and he's pretty much whatever I do he can do probably a little bit better Here comes Charles Leclerc now on Giovinazzi and he's going to, no way, he's going to go all the way around the outside of Giovinazzi. That is a mental move by Charles Leclerc. Oh my god, that is AI on AI, that's nothing to do with me. I'm way up the road. What a move. I'm loving the AI this year, they're so good. As here we come now, getting past Max Verstappen. This was made a little bit easier because we were on the fresher tyres. We get the job done down into turn one in the background. Charles Leclerc, obviously still ahead of Giovinazzi and now he's got to negotiate his teammate. As we head through the long turn two and now turn three and now we can just push for Sebastian Vessel who's just the road from us and here comes Charles Leclerc past Max Verstappen, Giovinazzi waiting in the wings and gets Verstappen as well. Slight lock up from Giovinazzi down the inside. Leclerc's got the job done. And it's side by side between Giovinazzi and Verstappen, but Giovinazzi has got past. And now Verstappen's left defending Devon Butler. Who would have thought that? As this is us, this is just the battle we were having with. Sebastian Vettel the gap just staying around 1.5 seconds and it was just frustrating whatever I gained he gained back quit in the middle sector because I was struggling so much but I did kind of ease into it I weren't struggling as much as I was qualifying through the middle sector and Charles Leclerc though is back for round two as he catches us up and goes to our inside we're going to have to defend to the outside. I'm going to try and do what we did the lap before. But this time, as we wait to come around the corner, he does get the job done. This time, I think better of going late down the inside. We don't want to have a copy and paste of the incident from earlier on in the Grand Prix. As this is the battle for second place. Pierre Gasly is off into distance. And here comes Sebastian Vettel down the inside of Lewis Hamilton for second place in this race. Charles Leclerc waiting in the wings, but Vettel up into P2, Charles Leclerc trying to go to the outside, Hamilton being very, very defensive to the inside, heading into turn 2 to head to complete the rest of the lap then, it's Pierre Gasly who rounds the final corner to win his first ever Grand Prix, it's our fourth win of the season I believe in terms of Red Bull or fifth. It's going to be Sebastian Vettel second, Hamilton holds on for P3, Charles Leclerc fourth and we come home for a mental P5 that Jeff was not happy about but I was very happy about after that disaster of Silverstone Grand Prix and the German Grand Prix. Well deserved win. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? 
Well, I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on the track was today, speed. I know it sounds like an obvious thing to say, Crofty, but fast cars win races, and we saw that today with our winner. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team. So that has been your Hungarian Grand Prix. Pierre Gasly winning his first ever Grand Prix in this series. And in general, to be honest, obviously he got his first podium last weekend at the Brazilian Grand Prix. In the standings, Charles Leclerc still leads. We're now 33 points behind Charles Leclerc, sitting in P3. There's still two drivers that still haven't got points. We're sitting second in the constructors, 65 points so behind Ferrari. So we have some work to do in that sense. Heading into the paddock, obviously we lost the rivalry with... Leclerc last weekend so we're gonna have to pick a new rival we'll get onto that in just a second we're, we're actually losing the rivalry with Pierre Gasly we do not get the R&D bonus um, for finishing getting so many points we've actually got to do a contract renegotiation here and they haven't gone too well so far the two I think we've done so far we're still on the original contract so we're actually going to try properly this time to get a decent contract hopefully Red Bull been very stingy with what they want us want us to have but what you probably are expecting that it fails again I'm afraid negotiations have broken down and there's nothing more I can do luckily we had the team's original offer to fall back on so we've agreed to those terms we'll have another chance to negotiate down the road it's just not meant to be, is it, with Red Bull? They just don't want us to do poorly, which obviously we don't as well. We're going to pick our new rival as Hamilton. We're going to do some on the R&D side, but Red Bull just, they just don't want to give us a semi-decent contract. They just want to be extreme. They just want us to win every race, and this car isn't at the level of the 2013 days, 2012 days. You can see there we have four upgrades on the car. I believe they should all about one I think all come in for Belgium next time out and after the summer break obviously um, I was gonna think of doing a kind of summer break s thing I was gonna do another episode of the classic Academy but the second round of that is at Hungary and I thought it'd be a bit boring if I literally put Hungary back-to-back -back video uploads wise so Belgium will be the next video and then it may be a review of Abu Dhabi and then at some point in the future maybe a couple more weeks part two of the classic academy will be out maybe when we get to Italy Singapore in the career I might throw that out there just to kind of spread it out a bit from the same races being near each other um, but guys if you have enjoyed this Hungarian Grand Prix then do make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed it um, if you're new around here and you like these kind of videos and you want to see stuff like the classic academy don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything but until belgium next time out we finally got a semi-decent result goodbye <laughs>